This time we'll be going through the query model line types and the model line type components. They can be found in the Rhino tab under the drafting section. Query model line types is for getting the line types from the model. It has one input, the name, and one output, the line types. You can use the new match method input modifier with it to filter the input. Like the model layer component, the model line type component has nine passing through inputs and outputs. They are model line type, name, segments, cap style, join style, width, width units, taper width and taper positions. This is an example of using both of them. I am getting the line types with the query model line types and I am then getting the specific information from the line types with the model line type component. This example is an extension to the one we did with the model layers. I have added the model line type component and connected it to the model layer component. I have used the model line type to construct two line types, white double dash double dot and a dashed one for comparison. I am again using the stream filters to select which one I am going to pass through to the model layer component. As I press the boolean toggle, display line types and display colors are going to change. Now how do you actually define the line type? Rhino handles the line types as a list. Here a positive value means a continuous line. A negative value means a space. And zero value means a dot. So this is our double dash double dot. All the dashes and all the spaces are 10 millimeters long. And this is our dashed one. It seems that there is some kind of a limit on how many different types you can combine to one list because here I have added another dot at the end but this does not seem to have any effect on the line type. This would indicate that the limit is four types of segments with spaces in between. I'm not sure if this is intended behavior because it wouldn't make much sense or if it's a bug in the grasshopper component. I have added a multiplication to change the scale of the line type and another slider to change the width.